Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Byrne. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform one-way analysis of variance or F-test in the Microsoft Excel. The first question that you might want to ask is when do we use one-way analysis of variance or F-test? If you can recall, when we are trying to compare two sample means, then you need to use T-test. T-test for independent samples or T-test for paired samples. But if you are trying to compare more than two sample means, then you need to use the one-way analysis of variance or F-test. But just like the T-test, one-way analysis of variance has also assumptions that you need to know and that you need to understand before you can perform this particular test. And so let me discuss to you uh, quickly the assumptions for this test. The first assumption pertains to the randomness. This means that the one-way analysis of variance assumes that the data you have collected were randomly selected from a target population. And then, uh, the second assumption is about the homogeneity of variance. This simply means that the one-way analysis of variance assumes that the variances of the group that you are trying to compare are equal or approximately equal. And then, the third assumption is about the independence. The one-way analysis of variance assumes that the groups that you are trying to compare are independent groups. And of course, the assumption, the fourth assumption is about the conformability of sample sizes. This means that the sample sizes of the groups that you are trying to compare are the same or almost the same. And of course, the last one is the, or refers to the normality of the data. This means that the analysis of variance or F-test assumes that the data are normally distributed all right these are the five assumptions that, that that you need to understand and for this presentation let us all assume that uh, uh, these assumptions are are true all right and so let me direct you to the data that we're going to use in order for us to perform f test or one-way analysis of variance i have here sample data of 109 students all right and i have here their scores during the college entrance test and the type of elementary school graduated from. I am interested to find out whether there are significant differences among the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to type of elementary school graduated from. And so having said that, let us first advance our hypothesis. So our hypothesis would be there are no significant differences among the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to type of elementary school graduated from. And so our alternative hypothesis would be there are significant differences among the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to type of elementary school graduated from. Alright, so these are the two hypotheses that we need to prove using this data. Alright, so let's now proceed to the first step on uh, how to perform one-way analysis of variance in the Microsoft Excel. So the first step that you need to do is to group the variables that you are trying to compare. And since we are interested to find out uh, the whether there are significant differences among the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to type of elementary school graduated from, then we are going to group all students who graduated in various school and then we're going to group those students who graduated in central and in private school. All right, so to do that, we simply highlight this column. And then you click sort A to Z. And then you expand the selection so that all the data along with respondent number one will also be sorted. The same is true with the uh, respondents number two to respondent 109. So click sort. And if you notice now, all the scores of students who graduated in various schools were sorted or were grouped together. And the same with those students who graduated in central schools and those students who graduated in the private schools. All right. So the second step is you transfer the data from this column that corresponds to this column here. So we are going to write here barrio and central and we have private all right so uh, all we have to do is to highlight all the scores of students who graduated in various schools so we highlight from 275 up to 390 
and then you copy and then you paste and then you highlight the scores of students who graduated in central schools so you highlight from 351 going down to 450 and then you have you you paste it and lastly you highlight the scores of students who graduated in the private school and all right and then you also paste all right so you have now here uh, the data okay uh, transferred from this column to here so to perform analysis of variance or F test you first look for or you mean you click the data and then you look for data analysis and then you look for ANOVA single factor that is another term for one-way analysis of variance and then you click OK and then the Microsoft Excel is asking you to input the range meaning to say you need to highlight all the scores of students who graduated in Barrio, Central and Private School so you click this arrow and then you highlight all the scores all the scores and then you click uh, this again and then you tick the circle for, col uh, for columns because we highlighted the columns and then we need to tick this box labels because we included the labels when we highlighted the score so we need to tick this box and then you set the alpha level at 0.05 and in this presentation i would want the microsoft excel to display the result in the new worksheet all right so i think we are set we are ready you click ok there you have it the results generated by the microsoft excel so let me expand this a little so you can clearly see the figures all right all right and then let me reduce the decimal places into two decimal places so uh -huh. here all right let me align this one to center and then let me reduce this also into two decimal places all right there you have it in the first table you can see here the descriptives you can see here the means of uh, the scores of students who graduated in barrio central and private all right and you can see here also their variances okay but what we are interested about is the result of the f ratio the p value and the f critical all right so again there are two ways to interpret the results the quickest one is by looking at the p-value and then you compare the p-value to the alpha level right so again if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 alpha then reject ho or you reject the null hypothesis but if it's greater then you do not reject the null hypothesis so if p value okay then is greater than greater than 0 0.05 okay 0 0.05 alpha then do not reject the null hypothesis all right so this is the quickest way so far so by looking at the p-value the p-value is 0 0.02 right so our interpretation would be since the p-value equals 0 0.02 is less than 0 0.05 right with the f value with f which is equal to 4.30 and with the degrees of freedom of uh, 2 and uh, 106 all right you can actually uh, okay is less than 0 0.05 then the null hypothesis or the HO is 
rejected. Alright, so since the null hypothesis is rejected, this one is rejected, then our conclusion would be there are significant differences among the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to type of elementary school graduated from. All right. Another way of interpreting the result is by comparing the F ratio and the F critical. All right. So our rule there is that if the F ratio is greater than the F critical, then reject HL right but if it's otherwise meaning if the f ratio is less than point uh, uh, is less than the f critical then do not reject h o all right so based on the result so we can say that since since the f ratio equals 4.30 is greater than the F critical is equal to 3.08 then the null hypothesis is rejected so, uh, it yields the same result. So, in here, we reject also the null hypothesis. So, we have the same interpretation and we have the same conclusions that there are significant differences among the scores of students during the college entrance test when they are grouped according to uh, type of elementary school graduated from. Alright? So, let me write it here. So, conclusion. Okay. Uh, there are significant differences among the scores of students right during the college entrance test when group according to type of elementary school graduated from okay so you have we have here now the the conclusion okay so I think we have answered our uh, hypothesis we have proven our hypothesis and so therefore the hypothesis was rejected and so we can conclude that there are actually significant differences but we have to note that since there are significant differences we need to perform post hope tests to find out as to which of these variables uh, differed significantly in terms of the scores during the college entrance test uh, if you try to look at the means all right uh, those who graduated in the central school obtained a higher mean as compared to the other two uh, as compared to students who graduated in the various schools in the private school so we can perform post hoc tests to determine as to which of these variables differed significantly in terms of the scores during the college entrance test but that would be in my uh, next video all right so i hope you like this video i hope you find this helpful and if you find this one helpful kindly click the subscribe button and the thumbs up and also the notification bell so that you will be notified as i upload my uh, upcoming videos all right so thank you for your time thank you for uh, watching and i hope to see you in my next video